Hey Dumb, this is Dave Desai. Let's talk about Jungkook eating and why people are mad about that. I also want to get into apparently two and possibly more ex-staff coming out and saying that Jungkook is in a gay relationship and I think this is so weird. And I also want to talk about some bathing pics. So, hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Go grab your Zumblin Taste Filling Mug merch and let's get into it. Let's start with Jenny's bathing pics and I will get into the other news too. If you aren't aware, I think at this point the Gurumi Haribo Pictures, who is the alleged hacker who leaked Jenny's iCloud to show that V and Jenny are dating. Those pictures are absolutely at this point proven to be edited. There's really no doubt in my mind at this point because I find very much it to be very weird that someone who cannot physically post any of these dating pictures or private pictures would even be snapping them. Like there's friends that I've been with for years and I don't believe I have a selfie with them. I'll take photos of the things we're doing to remember but if I have no intention of being like look who I am with then I'm not sitting there asking asking for a selfie. Am I alone in that? So in many scenarios, I believe that Jenny and V pictures are edited. There were also new photos that had come out when it was announced and believe that Blackpink had just come back to Korea and they're taking a short break before continuing their promotion for their album. And around this time, the new photos came out of Jenny allegedly in a bathtub taking a bubble bath. People automatically assumed it was real because it was very likely that she wouldn't post anything like that. And they assumed maybe the photo was for V. People just automatically automatically assumed it was real. It wasn't questioned that much. The real issue was how did the alleged hacker get this photo? The hacker was able to get a very private nude-ish photo of someone taking a bath, which is a huge invasion of privacy and a big concern. What other maybe NSFW photos would the hacker have? People have very private photos and videos on their phone. What else is going to come out? But not long after the photo was debunked and now believed to be edited, a, I believe, Chinese influencer named Ink Geo Boy was believed to be this original photo in which the quote-unquote hacker used to edit to make it appear like Jenny was in a bathtub. Ink very much resembles Jenny, like the similarities are pretty close. And so if you were to overlay a photo of Jenny on top of Ink, then the edits would come out pretty seamless. And this is now what everyone believed. Ink has a Weibo account, which is a Chinese social media. And on that account, Ink has another photo where you see the back of Ink in the shower. And this photo was used to make people think it was Jenny. And as I said before, when situations are very fake, the label won't come out and say anything because it's fake and people are going to find out it's fake. If labels were to address every fake concern, then people will constantly keep doing this because they'll get attention from the label if they do. I do think it's very weird to know that every time these photos are edited and posted, that people will go through great lengths to try to disprove the photo is real. And yet the people editing these photos are still using photos from other famous influencers and celebrities. Like, of course, it's going to be found out. There's bound to be some overlap between an influencers, followers, and Jenny's. It's just very weird. Now, I want to clarify, this doesn't mean that V and Jenny are 100% not dating. It just means that the photos coming out are likely not real. However, whether the two are actually dating or not is none of our business, and we will never know, and that's totally okay by me. At this point, I really could not care less. But I do want to quickly add that the hate both members are getting is terrible, but I think it will change the trajectory of K-pop. I think it does desensitize the audience to dating, but also to this idea of a male group and female female group being seen together and could also normalize a possible collab of the two groups. So I think we are at a tipping point here. We are also able to see a huge shift in K-pop and how people get so offended by very little things in K-pop. The hate that idols get for literally nothing is absolutely insane and I've been reading how Jungkook is even getting hate for how he eats. Let me explain. So backstory first, if you don't know how Jungkook eats, it's very cute and endearing and it wasn't the initial way that he ate that was the problem. Listen, let me explain. Jungkook gets very mad when he eats something that is good. So he scrunches his face, he looks very aggressive when he comes across really delicious food. And people now know this when they see him eat. They wait for his scrunchy face and that determines whether the fandom will go to that restaurant or buy that snack. However, this is not something that is or has ever been exclusive to Jungkook. I think I do it as well. I think several other people do it. And of course, other idols do it. Many, many others. However, Jiho from TWICE was recorded multiple times in a live stream or video where she had a similar reaction either to eating steak or some sort of bread. Gio started to get death threats and attacks for copying Jungkook. And then this led to Jungkook getting some hate over, I guess, copying Gio. And Jungkook was demanded and forced by some fans to stop doing that as to differentiate himself from Gio. I think a lot of people forget that BTS and idols are human beings. We as human beings are a mosaic of every single person we have ever met. We are a little bit of our mother, father, and whatever friends we hang out with. With that said, we all share features 
attributes and habits with each other. Brushing our teeth is a habit that hopefully your parents do and thus you also did. Eating a certain way was something you picked up either from your friends or your family as well. Thus, it's utterly impossible to have habits and traits that don't resemble someone else. Idols especially are not as godly as we think that they are. They are not as original in every little habit that they have, especially not in the way that some of these people think. They are human beings. This hate was one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. Both idols can enjoy their food in whatever way they want to. My issue with this method is just wrinkles because if you scrunch your face every time you eat, then you'll get a lot of premature wrinkles there. But we may never know what goes on in an idol's life and we tend to take these highly curated 10 minute snippets or hour snippets and just assume we know their lives and all their habits. But when on camera, there's even a sense of being a little performative because they're on camera and it would be boring to watch otherwise. I think a lot of the performative stuff can be a reason why we have ships and things like that. I don't know what is real and what is fake. That's not what I'm here to say, but I am here to say that BTS loves fan service. They love interacting in a way that is cute with each member, and I do believe they don't mind the fandom fantasizing about them. One of the biggest rumors and theories with Jungkook is him dating V. Again, whatever you believe or not, that is not what I'm here to discuss, but allegedly several staff members have recently been posting about Taekook, and there has been people who are calling sessons because they are leaking the staff's information or even knowing who the staff is, but I think all of that is public, so I don't believe they are Sesson fans. However, there was a post recently where it was alleged that it was a big hit staff who posted this. It was a photo of V and Jungkook together just walking, and people were wondering why this staff decided to post about the two. And if this was a hint towards something, other accounts were reposting another staff member who allegedly posted about a Taekook subunit coming out, which doesn't necessarily imply that they're dating each other, just means that they're making music together. I mean, if they're not dating, they're definitely friends, so why not make music together? I also have plenty of fun Taekook ship reaction videos on my Patreon, so if you want to check that out with me, I will link my Patreon below. There were other alleged staff members on Twitter saying that they know about the two dating and Taeyang and Jenny dating is not real because he's dating Jungkook. I can see this being no more than a way to get the heat off of Jenny, but maybe not entirely a real feasible piece of evidence. Because I'm 99% sure if you work for Hybe, and especially if you're a close staff to them, that you would need to sign an NDA. And thus, you can't actually say things like that, even if they were true, or especially if they were true. Staff coming out and saying that Jungkook is such a pleasure to work with, or that sort of thing, is not usually against an NDA. But saying that an idol is privately doing this and this, that is what an NDA is for. So they definitely can't come out and confirm or deny those rumors. A lot of these comments and stuff are often made, and, and then people who don't understand how companies or the world works will just believe it, and thus these rumors start. But if you start to think about it and really look into it, it's very obvious some of these things may not be true. But what do you think about some of these alleged ex-BTS staff and what they had to say about Jungkook? How do you feel about the bathing pics of Jenny? Do you think they are edited like I do? And how do you feel about the Gio and Jungkook being bullied for how they eat similarly? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.